recently overheard a conversation between a group of people discussing historic sin in America's past. Things that happened in the past that were terrible and they were discussing the issues kind of surrounding these things and one of the people involved in the conversation made a comment kind of along the lines of, well, things were different back in the day. People had a different understanding of things. They, that was just the way things were and society has evolved since then and today we know that those things are wrong. But they just didn't understand that at the time. Uh, I don't really know where the person's mind or heart was. I don't know where they were really coming from when they made those types of comments. But at first glance, it kind of sounded like they were excusing some past behavior because of the era that it occurred in. That at that time, there were different moral rules about what you should do or not do than there are today. And now we know better. Uh, it's kind of interesting. It got me thinking about right and wrong. You know, where do right and wrong come from? Where do these ideas of moral rules come from? If you think about it, when we look at nature and science, there's nothing that really would dictate how we should act. Nothing in the physical world around us that would tell us that we should or should not act a particular way. Science can tell us a lot about how our bodies work, but not necessarily what we should do with our bodies. So where does these ideas that there's rules about how we should behave come from. I've heard uh, a lot of different explanations for where right and wrong would come from. People would say, well, there is a science related aspect to this. You know, maybe right and wrong is about what would help benefit society. You know, the things that would benefit society, help human survival, those things are right. And things which would negatively impact survival are wrong. The question to me though would be, it, can I apply that same type of reasoning to my own life? If I find something that would not hurt society, am I allowed to do it? Just carte blanche. Can I just anything that would not really negatively affect society, can I do that? And then anything that I guess would negatively affect society as a whole, I guess I should stay away from. For example, like if, if I was to take advantage of a single person, but society as a whole would keep going, or if I was able to take advantage of a certain people group and it would actually benefit the others, the majority, is that okay? Because society as a whole is thriving, even though maybe on a personal level, one individual is not. Uh, some people maybe would make a, a different argument. Well, you just shouldn't hurt people in general. Anything that hurts someone is wrong. Well, if I can come up with something that doesn't hurt anyone, or it hurts, maybe, it, would potentially hurt someone, but I can prevent them from knowing it. I can be so sneaky that whatever I do, then no one ever finds out about it. So no one's ever really impacted directly. They don't feel the hurt. Well, would that be okay? You know, if I cheat on my wife, but she never finds out, well, was that okay then? I mean, it, nobody really got hurt. I think we all would be on the same page. You know, we might disagree about what to base right and wrong on, but we all seem to agree that there are things that are right and things that are wrong. But we, where could we, where can we ground that idea? I would think that probably most of us would agree that something extreme like torturing babies for fun is terrible, is wrong. And no matter what culture you're in, what time period, that's still going to be wrong. But where does that come from? Where, how can we really ground this idea? We need to see it, you know, even in that conversation where we're talking about historic sin of the past, I've heard people actually make an argument that right and wrong really comes from culture. Right and wrong is really less about true objective right and wrong principles, but more about just cultural practices. You know, in certain cultures, certain things are acceptable and in certain cultures, they're not. And that's where right and wrong really, boy, uh, really comes from. But if that was the case, then we really wouldn't be able to criticize a culture of the past because right and wrong would have come from that culture's principles, their, their customs. And if at that time customs included things like racism, well, that was that culture. How could we ever criticize that culture of the past or even another culture today and say, well, what's going on in that culture is wrong if we're from a different culture? If that's common for that to happen in that culture, then wouldn't it be right by definition? Could, would, could there ever be a moral reformer within a society like that? Somebody who would come up and say, what the majority of the people are doing is wrong. 
wouldn't that person by definition be wrong because they disagree with the majority? I think for me, I would like to think that I'm somebody who would do the right thing if given the opportunity to, between a right choice and a wrong choice. I know in reality I fail at that way, way too often. But I'd like to try to be at least the person who would make the right choice. But I know the reason that I fail to, to do the right thing is because often doing the right thing takes some type of sacrifice for me. It means I gotta give up my, some time that I don't wanna give up to, or I, I have to choose to not do the thing that I really wanna do in order to make the right decision. Right choices, morality, often seems to come along with some type of self-sacrifice. Well, I guess in my mind, I can reason why I should sacrifice if there are truly right and wrong principles that I have to abide by. But if right and wrong was really more a matter of cultural opinion, of cultural peer pressure, well, it's a lot, it makes it a lot harder for me to make those personal sacrifices. Because why should I sacrifice as a person just because somebody else thinks I should? I really want to make a sacrifice because I know it's truly the right thing to do. But in order for there to be true right and wrong, true objective principles that apply to everyone, including me, well, I need to explain where that comes from. It must come from something trans or someone transcendent, some someone or something that is above all cultures and above all time periods. I can really only think of one source one someone who could create moral rules that we should follow that transcends all time and culture. In the end, regardless of whether we believe that God exists or not, we need to be able to explain where right and wrong comes from. If we cannot explain where right and wrong comes, comes from, then it would beg the question, does right and wrong even exist? I think right and wrong does exist. I think it's actually pretty, essentially self-evident. We all believe in the end that right and wrong exists. But now we're stuck with the question, where does it come from? I think it must come from God.